Good morning, this is AccuWeather.com meteorologist and community director Jesse Farrell. We're taking a look today at some real world examples of condensation, which my daughter is studying this week in her 7th grade meteorology class. Take a look at this picture which was taken out in Nevada earlier this year. Notice there's a big mountain here at the bottom of the photo. And then up above the mountain is this strange shaped cloud. This is called a lenticular cloud. And one of the things that we learned about condensation was that it happens when air cools. So imagine the air flowing along here in the atmosphere. It hits this mountain. It has to go up. And then it comes back down on the other side. Well, as air goes up in the atmosphere, it cools. And as it reaches what's called the condensation point, then the cloud forms. Now this cloud would appear to be in the same place if you watched it all day because the air is constantly flowing up over the mountain forming the cloud, flowing down and clearing. So that's constant air flow over the mountain causing that, that cloud to basically constantly regenerate itself over the mountain as the air rises up and cools. Condensation occurs. Here's another example of a lenticular cloud that I took. This was down in North Carolina um, taken from Mount Mitchell, which is the highest peak uh, in the eastern United States, east of the Mississippi. Um, again, you can see the waviness of the cloud here, and in some cases you can actually see where there are some individual waves that go up and down. And that can happen once the air comes off of the mountain. As it goes farther downstream, it has trouble uh, regaining its normal straight track that it did before it hit the mountain. Here's an example of a lenticular cloud from the air. This was shot from an airplane. Uh, out in, this was out in Colorado. Um, I can't say for sure. This is probably the mountain here that's causing the cloud. But again, the air is flowing up over the mountain, and then it's hitting its condensation point. The water vapor condenses out into droplets or ice crystals, and then it goes back down on the other side. One final lesson today uh, in real world examples of condensation. Now take a look at this photo. You see a large plume of smoke here, which was caused by a forest fire. I took this photo back in North Carolina also in the early 1990s um, down near the coast. There was a huge forest fire down here on the ground, which you can't see because of the trees. And notice that as the smoke goes up into the atmosphere, it actually starts to form a cloud up here. And that's another thing that we learned about condensation is that condensation occurs around small particles in the atmosphere such as smoke or dust. Without those particles we would never have any clouds. And even though this was what would normally have been a clear day in eastern North Carolina, the heavy amount of smoke particles in the atmosphere allowed the water vapor to condense around them and form a cloud. Those are just some real world examples of condensation that I wanted to bring to you since that's what my daughter is studying this week in school. Stay tuned for further educational modules when warranted. From AccuWeather.com, this is meteorologist and computer director Jesse Farrell.